Okay, it's now time. All right, now it's time for another film venture, and now it's time to go and see Kick-Ass 2. I know, I've beat around the bush about it, because, you know, last week I said I was going to go see it, but then I surprised everybody with the way, way back. Kept people on their toes. But now it's time for Kick-Ass 2, and what are my thoughts on it? What am I looking forward to? Not much, actually. I didn't care for Kick-Ass, honestly. I... That was a movie, walking in, just by looking at the concept, it looked like it was going to be something good. I thought it was going to be unique and interesting, and it didn't do it for me. It didn't push the right buttons. It had some good moments, and it's not a bad movie. It's just, I felt like there could have been more to it. But here we are with Kick-Ass 2, and I'm trying to think how long has it been since Kick-Ass? Just 2000, okay, it's been three years, roughly, a little more. Anyway, it feels like it's been forever. But anyway, so here we are, Kick-Ass 2. Um, it looks like it's it's a bigger movie. Um, I mean, certainly continuing the story. Not like doesn't seem like they're gonna be throwing anybody off. Um, looks as just as gritty as the first one did. Just as crude and violent. Of course, it'd be interesting to see how if it can be if it's gonna be more violent. That might happen. We'll have to see, won't we? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really expecting a whole lot out of it. I think if, if it's any, it, if, um, I don't think it will exceed my expectations. But if anything, it will be a popcorn film. Just be something to enjoy, especially if you're into these violent action films. Um, yeah, let's see. We're going to see how violent it is right now. So, yeah. Here I go to go see Kick-Ass 2. So, I will be right back. And you guys just... Uh, well, you guys just stay right there. Oh, okay. I'm back from Kick-Ass 2. Um... All things considering, I like it better than the first one. Uh, it's not perfect, that, that much is for certain, but I like it better than the... As I said, I like it better than the first one. Sorry if I repeated myself. I felt the need to do it. Um, with Kick-Ass 2, it really plays with the, the, the theme about you know reality and fantasy. How these people are dressing up as superheroes when it's the real world. Um... I just think it's it's done. It, 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 can't talk. I think it's done so much better than what the first one was doing. I th and maybe because this one, I think it was a little more dramatic than the first one was. Granted, there's comedy to it, and not really good comedy. I, I'm not really a fan of the sick humor. Not like it wasn't the didn't think it was unnecessary. In fact, I would have. I wouldn't mind this movie being humorous. I just felt like some things were maybe going, really? I don't know. That's just me. It's my taste in humor. But aside from that, I just think it's such a... It's such, it's so much better than that first one. I, I can't stress it enough. Um, I think the star of this movie is Chloe Mortez. She really shines in this movie, and... It was so amazing about her is that she's very versatile. She can play a character like a uh, hit girl, but at the same time, she has no problem playing, you know, like, I can't remember her character's name in uh, uh, Hugo. She's some, like a role like that. Or even with Carrie, when it's coming up in October. I think she can pull that off. I remember reading on stuff about that, how people are sure about her playing that character. I don't think they could, she could pull it off because she doesn't look awkward enough. But I don't know. I think she could do it. I think she has enough ability to be awkward. Actually, she showed it in this movie. She was awkward in the uh, cliques of high school. So I think she's fine with that. So I got no problem with that. Uh, with that. You know, one thing that bothered me in the first film was the character of Kick-Ass. Yeah, he's your dorky, you know, awkward kind of guy. He's trying to be a superhero and, you know, be tough and all that. And I just feel like he was too dorky. He was too awkward at times. Um, but in this movie, it's about the same thing. 
at the beginning. And then when you get to the last act, he finally develops. And I could believe it. I, I was a fan of Aaron Taylor Johnson in this movie. Uh, it takes a little bit to get into because I felt like he was kind of getting into the same issues or the same character uh, development in the first movie in the, as the beginning of the film. But then it, it turns out pretty well in the end. Um, the villain of this film is was done better than I was giving him credit for throughout the movie. He was, you know, he was kind of annoying at, for the you know the course of the film. But I think that's the point. He's supposed to be a joke villain at the beginning, and then he grows into a serious threat. And it does work. Um, I can't remember the actor's name. It's just he's got the, you know, he's got three parts to his name. So I'm not gonna get it. But I liked him. I usually enjoy him. It's just he gets caught in that same, you know, McLovin kind of role. And yeah, the motherfucker is pretty much like McLovin and. Leah, uh, spandex or leather is better. It's a better uh, description to his outfit. Um, I also like John Leguizamo in this movie. He's a supporting character, but I was surprised to see him in this film, and he's always enjoyable. Same thing goes for Jim Carrey. There wasn't much of him, but or at least there's not much. As, there's not much to him as it's advertised. But I thought he was good. He was a character. Um. You know, all things considering, I, I don't want to say this movie's not violent, because it is, and by the time you get to the last act, it gets pretty definitive in its uh, violence, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't know what Jim Carrey's going off about. I don't know, I, I feel like I've seen more violent films, so I don't know what he's going about. This, uh, okay, what else is there? Let's see, I don't care for the humor. I do like the story to this film. I like that it's split between Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl. I like that we get to explore Hit-Girl and she tries to, you know, ditch the cape and she wants to live a normal life at first, or at least she, she has to, and then she finds herself, and then Kick-Ass kind of does the same thing, except done in a different way. It, it's really about exploring, you know, who you are, and, you know, that's one of the character traits that you see in a comic book film. It does a good job with that, and it also plays with that you know, the fantasy and reality element. That's also, you know, I mentioned that, and that's also pretty good. Um, the action's good, too. I think uh, not ridiculous. Well, it's ridiculous, yeah, but still fitting for this film. I enjoyed it, and by the time you get to the last act, it's worth it. I, bet, I really think what makes this movie better than the first one is the last act. I loved how the, the final battle turned out. I liked how the movie ended. And for those wondering, you want to stick around to the very end, it means at the end of the credits, there is a scene. It's not much, but there is something going on. But yeah, I really think what sells this movie for me is the last act. So if anything, I think you should see it for that. Um, yeah, that's Kick-Ass 2. I was surprised by this film. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, is it perfect? No. And I'm not going to say that, but I think it's worth it. So check it out if you're interested. All right, so that does it for Film Venture. Next week, it's The World's End. And maybe another film, but stick around and find out. So, thanks.